Since the kidney is the main organ that starts the process in creatine synthesis, that by taking creatine, it was going to wreck your kidneys. A lot of us, when we go to get an annual physical and you get blood work, there's going to be something on the blood requisition form that says creatinine. When creatine is put in our muscle and it breaks down with exercise, it's released in another compound called creatinine. And that is highly used by a lot of nephrologists and general practitioners to be an estimation of kidney function. Well, what they don't tell you is when you take creatine supplementation, creatinine levels have to go up because you have more creatine in the muscle. And unfortunately, from a medical practice standpoint, if you have more creatinine in the bloodstream, that's an indication that your kidneys are not filtering it like they should. And so the theory was there, but the problem is when you stop taking creatine, creatinine levels go back to normal. So obviously your kidneys were not impaired with functionality. It was just a byproduct of creatine metabolism. And when you look at study after study, there's no effect compared to placebo on creatine causing kidney, liver, or any other type of renal abnormality.